on behalf of this Konkata Doctors Group, this is our first vlog, and it's the first of a series of vlogs that will be aired on our website. The links will be given below. The first one, I will be interviewing our president, Vinak Sina, and it's on the excitement of the upcoming Swan trial. But for physicians and also for patients, we need to understand what we are talking about in plain and simple terms. So I have very three or four specific questions for you. One, unlike the past where we used to only target glucose for lowering of glucose of sugar and then wait for benefits from the point of view of kidney or heart. Now we are talking about a group of drugs like GLP-1 and SGLP-2 which can benefit irrespective of glucose. I need to know from you what are these group of drugs which are called glp so there has been a paradigm shift. It's just revolutionized diabetes care, as we know from it. And what has happened is in the past, we used to control glucose, but that didn't seem to impact the heart too much or the brain too much. We then came up with various groups of drugs like SGT, one receptor which are basically drugs which buff through the intestine and through the intestinal hormones, works in the pancreas, and also the body body parts like the brain. So it not only reduces blood glucose, but has some heotropic, as in other words, other benefits as well, which is body weight reduction, improvement of the cardiac function, etc. But still, we were not convinced about it. We wanted more proof. So there were some cardiovascular outcome trials. And these convincingly showed us that these group of trials, not only do they reduce blood glucose and reduce body weight, they do not cause hypoglycemia, a feared side effect of diabetes therapy, but it improves cardiac outcomes. There's a reduction in the number of events of heart-related deaths and heart-related events that we see with these group of drugs. The second part is, these are now well established over the years, but we see a paucity of prescription. You had once shared with me an algorithm called the simple algorithm by Fogels and Hendrick, saying that one is lower glucose, another is modified disease. These are probably disease modified, modified choices. Yes. What would be your suggestion to patients going to a physician and asking that I heard that we have such a for drugs, or a physician's thinking it is so costly and not discuss? Well, how do you see it from both the sides of the table? There is no doubt that these are expensive, that's, uh, expensive drugs. And, you know, there's no taking away from it. But I think there has to be a frank sort of candid discussion between the patient and the doctor. That, you know, this is what you benefit. And this is the cost of that benefit. And I think a lot of people will be pleasantly surprised as to the number of patients who actually take over these medications, in spite of the cost, when they are told of them, they know how the benefit that comes with these drugs. And I'm sure in your experience, you would have noticed that these drugs bring to the table so much of benefits, and some of them are very tangible benefits. Patient getting good blood glucose control, no hypoglycemia, definite reduction of body weight. All these things actually add up to the patient's mind. So frank discussion and a trial of therapy will always help the patient in deciding this. And I think from a doctor's point of view, the doctor has to mention this option to the patient. So I think what Dr. Sina is trying to say is discuss, discuss, and discuss. That is, it's not necessarily that we are prescribed, but discuss. Give the patient the option. The patient doesn't take it, that's fast. The last question is, we now do not have a lot of GLP-1 either out of stock or they are not in the market. The one available three now is the oil. And Simak Uber. And most of the data are coming from Simak Uber now. At point of liver and kidneys a little bit. Now, only problem is the injectable one is not available. Yeah. The oral one is. And the cardiovascular benefits are yet to come. But you have one so very recently proposed that why don't we do a simulation model and see how it works. And we have published this data. We are hearing that the trial has been stopped early. Early stopping always tells us maybe something is positive. How do you think this is going to revolutionize the whole way that we look at diabetes patch once the soul trial is published? I think oral semaglutide is a game changer. You know, there's no doubt about it. Think about protein. You know, you've been trying to get oral insulin for the last 50 odd years and we've never, never succeeded because we've never been able to deliver a protein. 
So I think hats off to the scientists that they have actually managed to come up with a way of being able to deliver an oral protein which doesn't get deviated in the stomach. But more importantly, I think as far as the soul trial is concerned and the concerns whether it will provide cardiovascular benefit and renal benefit, a molecule is a molecule. And, you know, the simulacrotary which has been tried with parental roots is the same molecule as the one that we're giving in the oral. So there's no reason to think that it will not have the same kind of benefit. And if you look at the chances that this trial has been prematurely stopped, it seems that there are positive results. And from the very interesting mathematical modeling that you did, you know, it seems that everything is falling into place according to our mathematical model. Study being stopped roughly about three and a half years, showing a statistically significant mass benefit. And I think this is a very important space to watch because A, it's oral. B, if it also has cardiovascular benefits, total game changer. There will be no other drug in the picture because oral always will win over these injectable molecules. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sina. So every blog will have some take-on messages. Three, these are game-changing disease-modified molecules. Two, discuss, discuss, and discuss. And three, let's wait for soul because this might become a game-changer. Thank you very much. Thanks, you.